God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Well, John, first of all, it's really good to have you join me today. Um, I've been doing these recordings now for some years, actually. And um, so welcome. It's good that you've come down the hill from Roseneath, from St Barnabas Church in Roseneath, to, to, the, to the cathedral here. Well, that's quite a passage. It is, isn't it? There are some uh, enormous concepts for discussion in mm-hmm. there, aren't there? Um, simply the the concept of love, which is one that I guess we understand at a very personal level, but to concede the immensity of God's love Mm. that's reflected in this passage. In this verse, which is so Mm. well-known, I I suspect the most well-known, most loved, Mm. uh, literally loved verses in the Bible. Mm. Um, What about this perishing and judgment those who are condemned. Right. Who condemns? Right. Well, I suspect, Frank, that it's it's us that placed ourselves in that situation. Mm. Uh, the passage is quite clear that, that God's love is, is totally uh, all-embracing and, and forgiving. But I guess we sometimes may choose to stand a little outside of that. And in that respect, mm. we condemn ourselves. Because a lot of people, I think, um, certainly a lot of the media... Um, concept of God as this judgmental, rather ugly sort of, you know, just wait if you just put a, put a, a foot wrong, and, and that's a very unattractive picture of God. Um, so I've always been very interested in this verse 18, the, 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 the last verse that you read, those, those who believe are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, in a sense, as you said, I mean, you condemn by taking yourself out of the orbit of of God's love and grace, don't we? And we see this, I think, I suppose, in, in family life as, as a parent. Um, I know there have been occasions where my children have placed themselves outside of the care of the family uh, through right. their own choice. And mm. as a parent, sometimes you have to seem to apply harsh measures, mm. um, but they're applied out of love, and they're applied because mm. you have a great love for the child and you want to embrace them, to mm. bring them back in to communion and fellowship with the family. There's that famous, famous Kiwi phrase, isn't there, of tough love? Tough love, that's the one. It's one of those I guess books written for parents of teenagers, I remember that. <laughs> Fortunately, those days are gone for me as we moved on. Perhaps the concept came out of this text. Uh, yeah, well, it may well have, yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, today is Trinity uh, or Sunday, or we're talking uh, it is. Uh, Trinity Sunday, mm-hmm. where we 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 wrestle mm-hmm. with the big concept of God in all God's fullness, mm-hmm. whether as traditionally Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In more recent years, certainly um, some people prefer to talk about God as Creator, Redeemer, mm-hmm. Life Giver. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and uh, I was watching a video just recently of how do we sort out the nature of Christ and the nature of God and all these different, um, there's some really difficult issues there which uh, the church used to get terribly excited about, but um, perhaps we don't get quite so excited these days. Right. Mm. Well, I guess we see here in this uh, particular scripture the fact that, that God is in fact giving himself mm. and touches on the concept of, of God's only son and, yeah. and of course in the concept of the Trinitarian understanding yes. of that um, they are one and the same and right. God is giving himself for yeah. the world right. through his son, through the humanity of his son. And through that the invitation to enter into eternal life mm. which is another whole big area which Probably at this stage we don't have right. time to I look into we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one until next time, shall we? Yeah. Thank you, John. Great. Thank you. It's been a pleasure talking with you.